What's going on there guys? Good evening. It's the Earthmaster here on this Wednesday night, uh, August 24th, 2022. It's about 9, 12 p.m. California time. And the uh, latest quake shows a 1.4 earthquake out here in the Alaska region. In the mix of all those earthquakes, let's go ahead and check out the latest activity here across the flat scale model Earth uh, for some uh, movement. Looks like around the Java Trench here within the last hour, the red circle indicating the most recent quake on the map here, 5.0, right around the uh, Java Trench area at about 35 kilometers deep. This is the area that's seen the 6.2 earthquake just a couple days ago within the vicinity. 6.2 is going to be in the larger yellow circle there, about 55 kilometers deep for that main quake there. So a little bit of heightened activity still continuing within that area of the world. Also some activity up through China parts of the uh, Myanmar area and up around northern India. Seen some activity, uh, including a 5.0 up there. Uh, that one coming in. Looks like, uh, actually the 5.0 is going to be this one. Uh, I know this one's an older earthquake right here. 4.1 strike, strike uh, that was striking earlier this morning, it looks like, in the India, northern India area. Okay, uh, south of Japan, it looks like, right around the northwestern corner of the Philippine plate. We've got a 4.2 showing up. This one pretty deep at about uh, 382 kilometers. Now we did see some further uh, activity much to the west here, but shallower. Uh, this area, i got to remember here, there's a lot at play with the Philippine plate. Kind of got a couple different subduction zones and trenches around the area, but it looks like that uh, 4.2, the deeper earthquake movement here um, triggered some activity further to the west and southwest here uh, which kind of makes sense with the uh, directional plate movement so uh, watching that area pretty closely around the Japan region also the Kuril Kamchaka Trench seen a 5.1 earlier this afternoon at uh, looks like 62 kilometers deep down here in the south around the Vanuatu Port Bila area got uh, one earthquake around the Tonga region 4.8, the latest quake there on the map. These other ones around Vanuatu and the Fiji Islands area, some older movement quakes, but uh, still got to watch that pretty closely. Have we seen any further activity out here around South America? Well, we did have that uh, Southeast Central Pacific Ocean earthquake this morning, or actually uh, earlier this afternoon time frame, but we haven't seen anything uh, kind of followed up from that. There was a 5.4 prior to this earthquake activity, so just kind of watching it down there in the South America region. No major uptick. Uh, Puerto Rico area looks about the same as we did last night. Some scattered activity out around the Puerto Rico region. Western part of the country. Still seeing a little activity out here in Nevada following a 3.1 earthquake earlier this afternoon. Looks like a couple small microquakes around the uh, Squaw Valley of Nevada. A couple different unnamed fault systems out there in the desert of Nevada. Northern California, little activity outside of the Bernie region it looks like. A couple small earthquakes and I believe that was a uh, uh, some activity from this morning time frame. No major movement to report up north. Of course we still got little activity, little scattered activity outside of Tacoma and uh, Mount Rainier region but it's all in the microquake department for now. California, at least the uh, southern part of it uh, all looks pretty darn quiet folks i mean there is some activity kicking up here but uh, it's all very spotty and it's all very light uh, earthquake activity so not a whole lot going on throughout that region uh, texas low activity throughout there as well nothing across the eastern portion of the country the yellowstone map here we'll go ahead and double check that see if we got any earthquake activity now here's that little signature up here again. Remember we were talking about that a couple days ago on our updates. Actually, we talk about it a lot. We get these little periods of a couple hours of what looks like maybe intense earthquake swarming or thunderstorms. And I believe that's kind of what shot through here uh, a couple hours ago. Uh, let me go ahead and check out the Windy app here and see if I can bring up any data from that area. Um, let's see, of course, this is going to be 9 p.m. This kind of looks like it was just a couple hours ago or so 
in that region around five, maybe six o'clock. Definitely seen uh, here in northwestern Wyoming, seen quite a few thunderstorms that looks like roll through there. Um, but as of right now, 9 p.m. time frame, there's not a whole lot that has died off here around Yellowstone. So that would definitely coincide with this reading that we've seen kicking up here. It, it looks like earthquake activity. It really does. But um, a lot of times we get these environmental interferences and that could be tractors. It could be snow lift equipment or a, a ski lift equipment, snow plows. Uh, but this kind of looks like it's uh, definitely thunderstorm activity. If this was some type of swarming going on, uh, it would be consistent when we don't have thunderstorms up there so i just i can't say this is earthquake activity volcanic activity at all just because of the uh the uh the time sequence there between thunderstorms every day and evening early evening and the uh readings there on the graphs all right getting back to the map here alaska showing a little activity up there in the north uh, looks like around the denali area of course we had that uh 4.0 earlier this afternoon time frame for the most part no major quakes going on across the region just some light scattered activity throughout the cook inlet area and a little spotty very spotty movement throughout the aleutian trench for now big island of hawaii not a whole lot going on things kind of tapering off 13 earthquakes or so majority around the pahala region of hawaii all right what do we got for space weather let's go ahead and jump into that real quick and uh, we do have a couple growing sunspots and um they kind of pop up out of the blue well i mean they form but then they really rapidly form uh we're still looking at this uh when was this put out 25 uh, that was put out a little bit ago uh showing that coronal hole activity but we can check out the latest data here let me make sure we got the latest image here of The area, so 20, yeah, here we go. Here's a little bit more recent uh, data showing that coronal hole here, the, the darker image, and with that sunspot still rapidly developing on the northern side of it. Uh, this sunspot over here around the southwestern limb of the sun definitely uh, growing as well. There's a couple dynamics in this as far as the classes go, the magnetic class. And we got a whole bunch of sunspots forming out around the uh, eastern limb that we're going to have to watch over the coming days and uh over the next week or so i think things are going to get pretty active in that uh, aspect of things 3086 is growing we got this sunspot right here that i think is our main sunspot it's kind of it's kind of rapidly grew super quick over the well, last 36 hours or uh, 24 hours i would say because it really took off here uh overnight and this morning time frame 35 or 3085 up north definitely got some cool looking magnetic features on it but uh, they're not super complex or dynamic in terms of producing any major flares. So, but then again, things can change. So we'll watch out. But I don't think that's a current major threat. Uh, it's going to be this guy right down here. Uh, 3086 is that one that's in the coronal hole, and uh, these other newer sunspots here, and of course up north as well on the northeastern side of the sun. So just getting very active and rapidly developing here with these newer sunspots coming our way. And uh, hopefully they'll provide us with some entertainment instead of just uh, kind of floating across the sun there. Uh, let's see. Three-day geomagnetic forecast is calm right now, but that all is subject to change with what goes on here on the sun in the next couple days. So we'll watch it pretty closely, folks. All right. Have a good night. I'm going to call it a night, I think. Uh, I've been studying. I'm doing a lot of schoolwork and whatnot. Uh, so we're going to try and catch up on some sleep a little bit here i think and uh, we'll see how it uh see what happens overnight i can't say it's really quiet out there uh looking at the globe definitely shows quite a few threes across northern um north the northern part of south america here up north peru area and down south in chile area all showing some threes so uh definitely active but nothing above like I say, when we show those USGS maps here, they're only showing technically 4.0 and above. But these threes and whatnot, they do play a part, right? They're earthquakes, and they're, uh, they could definitely be pointing towards an area to watch in terms of uh, plate dynamics and the uh, movement here across the globe. 
So definitely a cluster of quakes around the Philippines and the Java Trench area. 3.2 down here, New Zealand, pretty recent quake. It's been a while since we've seen any major activity down in this region. And, uh, and for the most part, spotty activity across the Fiji Islands area and whatnot. Normally this area is just cluttered with a lot of deep earthquake movements here. But uh, it's just been kind of off and on here over the last few weeks. Just a little spotty. All right, guys. Have a good night. Stay safe out there. And we will chat you guys a little bit later after Dreamland. Have a good night, guys. Peace out.